Hi, so today we're going to build a mini game called Physic Ball by implementing several important elements such as multiple screens and flow components, states, and of course animation. So if you're just getting started, please watch previous tutorials first. So as you can see, I created three artboards on the design section and each have its own objects such as the yellow ball, level number boxes which can easily be made using shapes on the left side menu. You can do the same or make your own creation. Okay, so always remember to rename your object initial and target name for them to be easily manageable in code section later. Make sure you rename and target as well the objects that you will code later. So everything sort perfectly now and let's start code this thing. First we have to define the flow component, which if you're not familiar with it, I'll explain in my previous video. Please go ahead and check it. Next we will also define how the flow works, which in this case from main menu to level selection. So you can click the level selection box from the main menu and you can return to main menu from the level selection. So that's what I'm going to create in this case. Okay. All right, flow.show next and add the parameters of the target screens, which in this case, screen level two and screen level one. Now it's working perfectly, but we're still missing several things. Well, we can't return from the level screen to the main menu. So the solution is that we create the same flow component for the arrow or back arrow that will lead us return from the level screen to the main menu here. So we're going to do the same pattern and I think this is pretty much easy to do and there you go. So we got back one and back two, the same as level one screen on the main menu and level two. Okay, so it works perfectly. We can switch and return from the level screen and as well as from the menu screen. That's what we want so far. Now, it's better for us to group the code so it'll be easy manageable later. Okay, there you go. So next, we want to start working with the ball. So I want the ball moves horizontally but I can control the movement separately but in unison so to do that the first thing at the first thing I want to define the states here okay it might be seem a bit strange but this syntax means that I want to define multiple animation states inside several labels just like in this case, the first movement, which in the first movement, I create new animation called ball move one. By the way, first movement here is a random name. You can change with your own. And overall, this can also be called as switch. So basically later, you can switch between these different animation states in ball one, which is called so later I can switch between the first movement which contains the animation of ball move 1 within the property values of X within the 113 and of course to the second movement with the animation of bell ball move 2. So now we are going to activate the switch. So here we write on tap event. So of course when we tap it works. Now ball move one on events on animation start and then ball move one start.
Now we also can define the continuum animation sequence where ball move 1 on events animation end and then ball move 2 start. It means in English that when the animation of ball move 1 is ended then ball move 2 start. So the difference between on animation start and animation end is So as you can see, if I define on animation end, the ball move 2 will not move because I didn't call the animation state. So here I also write ball move 2 from the animation state of second movement on the top within the property values of 350. So it's all activated properly and I can change the state, I can switch the state as well by clicking, I mean tapping, because at that point I define when ball 1 on tap and the thing works. So make sure you know the difference of these details. It's probably a bit confusing at first, but that's okay and that's pretty much normal, okay? So the difference is that if we define on animation and or all animation or on animation starts, Basically, we need to call the animation state, but if we just write animation end, as you can see on the simulator, it's automatically switch from the first animation state to the second animation state in the same object. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing for level 2, okay? So the pattern's still the same. But in this case, I rename the animation state to first jump and second jump because I want the ball to jump. So it's basically the same as the first level. And again, I define the switch. And of course here I add the event as well so the same thing goes that way so make sure you properly indent that so there we go now it seems that it works not just as we wanted so I'm gonna change several property values and experimenting it okay that works uh, there you go try it again it works perfectly so that's what I wanted in this case Okay, very nice. So thank you for watching this video. If you like, please subscribe to support this channel. If you dislike, thank you so much. So then, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day in practice. Bye-bye.